Hi everyone, I am so pleased and so proud to be able to finally introduce everyone to Baby Apple. Francesca, or Frankie for short, Grace Simpson arrived into the world a little bit early and she's actually two weeks old today. It has been a surreal experience, we're all very sleep deprived but it is so worth it. And Tom, myself and Rocco could not be happier that she is finally here with us and we get to watch her adventure begin. Now this video is a little bit of a different video I'm sharing with you more inside my life. In particular my life with Tom. For a long time you guys have been asking me about Tom. What's he like? What does he do for work? And how did we meet? And I have been sort of pushing back on this because the truth is Tom is actually quite a private person. But you guys have always been so open and honest with me. You share with me your private stories, your personal trials and tribulations. And you've also always given me such wise and supportive advice and so many kind words when I've really needed it. So I thought it would be nice to, for me to be able to share with you the story behind Tom and I, how we met, the challenges we've gone through, and I guess the bond behind our little growing family. So Tom is 40 years old and he is a country boy. He grew up in Baraba, which is about 45 minutes from Tamworth. He is one of three boys and he's the middle boy. And yes, he definitely has chronic middle child syndrome because he loves to be center of attention. His parents are absolutely lovely. His mum was a nurse and his father was a school teacher. And they are just so down to earth, so lovely and so incredibly welcoming. Not only have they been welcoming to me into their family, but they've also embraced Rocco. So Rocco feels like he's got a huge family, a lot of people who love and support him. I feel incredibly lucky and incredibly blessed. So Tom has quite a unique job. He works for himself like me, but he's actually an equine physio, which means he gives physiotherapy treatment to horses. And whilst he treats a whole range of horses, from endurance horses to show jumping horses, he actually specializes in race horses. And equine welfare is something incredibly important to him and something he's fiercely passionate about. Making sure that horses are in good condition, making sure that the horses are happy and making sure that the horses are pain free. This is really important to him. Tom and I actually met on Happen, which is an online dating app. Coincidentally, both of us were sort of on it as a bit of a joke. My girlfriends were really encouraging me to get myself back out there and to open up my mind and heart to the thought of meeting someone. But to be honest, I'd kind of given up and didn't really have much faith at all. And Tom was sort of on it for a bit of a laugh and we happened to open up our accounts pretty much at the same time. And we, we met within a week of actually opening up our accounts. And initially we just spoke through the app, just like on kind of like texting, but we immediately had banter. We were immediately making each other laugh, immediately, you know, giving each other a hard time. So a few days later, we agreed to speak on the phone and we spoke for like 45 minutes and there not once did we ever have any awkward pauses or moments. The conversation flowed really easily and we were constantly laughing and listening to each other. So a few days later, we agreed to meet. And instead of meeting for a drink or going out for dinner, we agreed to meet for breakfast on a Saturday morning down at Bondi. And I had to get my parents to babysit Rocco so I could go on this date. And the whole time during breakfast, we were laughing. And we didn't draw a breath, we were talking and it was just a completely engaging conversation. And I remember thinking to myself, you know what, if this leads to nothing, you know what, I would have met and probably made a really good friend and someone who's a really good person. So I'm just going to be happy with that. But as it turned out, that's not what neither of us, I guess, had in mind or was meant to be. Because a week later, Tom was on my doorstep and he said to me, look, I really like you and I'm really open to seeing where this goes, but I don't really want us to be seeing anyone else. Um, I want to really respect the potential in this relationship. 
So if you're not interested in doing the same, that's perfectly fine, but I'm going to politely bow out now. But if not, that's great. Let's give this a good go and see where it goes. And at this stage of my life, I had really, I guess, lost faith in dating. I had lost faith in, in I guess, men to a certain degree and, and lost a sense of belief in myself. And I was really taken back and admired his honesty, his dignity and his respect. So I agreed, of course, yes, I would come off Happen and we both deleted our Happen profiles um, together. And we've never looked back. Um, it has been an incredible relationship. Of course, we've had our ups and downs, we've had our challenging moments and our arguments, but we've always come through the other side. And sometimes it's been hard to come through the other side, but every time we have, we've come out with a deeper understanding of each other, a greater sense of respect for each other, and a greater sense of, I guess, protection and, and respect for what him and I both have together and the unit that we form. What is Tom's personality like? Tom has a really big personality. He is so much fun and he can make anyone laugh in any different type of situation to the point where we can be arguing and he will just say something incredibly funny and it's so frustrating because I'm trying to have an argument and get my point across but he's just got me laughing and sometimes it's at myself sometimes it's at him but he really knows how to turn a moment around and get perspective back again and and see all the things we need to be appreciative of and grateful for. But another thing about Tom's personality is he's fiercely loyal and fiercely protective of the people that he loves the most, which obviously includes his family and his friends, but it also includes Rocco and I, and of course, Baby Apple. And another thing about Tom is he is incredibly intelligent, not just intellectually, but socially and emotionally as well. I feel like I am always learning, I'm always growing from him, from the conversations that we have, from the observations that he sees, from like all sorts of different things. Like it's just, he's on another level sometimes. And I'm just in awe of, of that. And it also inspires me to want to understand more, to want to learn more, to be more mindful. Tom and Rocco, whew, yeah, <laughs> I don't explain this. So Tom and Rocco didn't actually get on very well initially. They really Tom butted heads. Rocco was like, who is this guy that it, like is taking away my mum's attention from me? And Tom was like, who is this like, child that just dominates this woman's life and and he could he always was very respectful of my relationship with Rocco and we definitely took things very very slowly out of respect for Tom but also of his course out of respect for Rocco let things very gently happen and I used to really worry about how they didn't get on very well I used to think oh my gosh I'm gonna have to live this double life where I have a separate life with Tom and a separate life with Rocco it's the only gonna only way it's gonna work but of course, as per usual, I always overthink things, over worry things, and it wasn't the case at all. And soon enough, Rocco and Tom became thick as thieves. They are so incredibly close. They cuddle, they snuggle, they have wrestles and rumbles and tickle fights, and they have all these funny little pranks that they play on each other and all these different ways that they bag each other. And the thing about Tom is he's incredibly witty. He's got a really sharp tongue. But the person who knows to give it, how to give it back and give it, delivers it in the best way is actually Rocco. He's always he giving it straight me. back to Tom. Really sweet to watch. It's actually really funny. What I love the most about Tom is he can make me laugh. I can be in floods of tears, something bad's happened, and within a few minutes I'm, I'm laughing. And those tears of pain or sadness end up being tears of just like happiness. <laughs> And it, there's not many people in the world that can really do that for me. And as I said, I really admire his intelligence and his passion for life and how he's fiercely loyal and fiercely protective of everyone around me. He inspires me to be a better person. It is incredible the things he manages to collect and he's always dropping things. He's always dropping his acupuncture um, uh, plastic containers and the wrapping everywhere he goes. He'd make the worst burglar because you just follow the trail of evidence right to him. The other thing he is, is he cannot shut a single drawer or cupboard. Sometimes I will come down in the morning and in the kitchen like five drawers will be open, the dishwasher door will be open, the cupboards will be open and like all the drawers will be open. It's bizarre. It's like he doesn't see that they're open, just cannot physically close them. It is so annoying. 
my most special moment with Tom was telling him that we were going to have a family and the IVF worked. We, I found out in the morning that I was pregnant and um, that afternoon we decided to take Giuseppe for a swim down to Mackenzie's Beach. And for me, that moment in telling Tom that he was going to be a father was a really important one. And there was a lot of worry about how he would react. So I wrote on a tennis ball, you are a daddy. And Giuseppe had the ball immediately in his mouth and we were walking down to the beach and I was starting to worry because I was like, oh gosh, I think all Giuseppe's slobber in his mouth is going to make the ink run and this won't work. Anyway, we got down to the beach and Giuseppe dropped the tennis ball for Tom to be able to throw into the water. And I said to Tom, like, look at the ball, Giuseppe's going to tell you something. And he looked at the ball and he was like, what? And it's, he's like, it says daddy. I was like, Tom, read the ball. And he's like, you, you are a daddy. And he's like looking at me weirdly and like he didn't get it. And I'm like, Tom, the IVF worked. I'm pregnant. And um, I'll never forget the look on his face. His face lit up. I've never seen so many teeth because his smile was so big. And he was just in complete shock. He's like, really? It worked? Like, and he, he just couldn't, and that's all he could say. Like, no other words could come out of his mouth other, other than this massive smile on his face. And he picked me up and gave me the biggest hug and the biggest kiss. And he was just, I've never seen him happier. And his reaction could, was everything of my dreams. His reaction in that he was so happy. He was so excited. He was so grateful. He, again, like me, felt so blessed that this IVF had worked. And... Whilst our, we always look at us as a family, the three of us, this just solidified our unit even more so, knowing that we were bringing little baby Apple into the world. So I guess the purpose behind this video is to share with you the importance of having a bit of faith. Having faith that there is something out there for you. Trusting in the universe, believing in yourself, and knowing that all things happen for a reason, and the universe works in mysterious ways and timing is absolutely everything. I was definitely at a point in my life where I didn't really have any faith in actually ever repartnering. And whilst I was open to the idea of, of having more children, I didn't ever think it would happen with someone. I'd kind of lost a lot of faith in myself and a lot of belief in myself. So if anything, I hope this video inspires you to hang in there, to continue on believing in yourself, to know that something around the corner may happen and you never know what it might be or who you might meet. It only takes a couple of seconds to meet a new person. And the importance, of course, of remaining open. Open to possibilities, open to experiences and open to new adventures. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for letting me introduce you to you. Baby Apple, that nickname has stuck. I think um, this child is gonna grow up being called Apple for her whole entire life. But thanks again for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. And I look forward to sharing and showing with you more adventures inside my family and my life. Ciao for now. Say bye. Bye-bye. Fast asleep. You're not wearing my lip gloss.